Neil Ferguson, or Professor Lockdown as we call him on this channel, has come out to finally admit and apologize for getting things wrong during the lockdown. Neil Ferguson, Professor Doom and Gloom, Professor Lockdown, the guy who is too busy to do his job because he's busy having dates with uh, women who have husbands. <laughs> he's come out to apologize. He says that I got things wrong. My modeling in the past, the way I was trying to translate my scientific jargon was apparently oversimplified. So he's only apologizing for doing things in a simplified way and regrets mistakes that he made in his private life. Say so it's oversimplifying when you sleep with a married woman. Of course, absolutely right, Neil Ferguson. It is oversimplifying the issue. It's interesting that his uh, methods and his modeling which was exposed about a year and a half ago. And uh, we already knew that in the past, he was always wrong anyway. And it's not just because he's just incompetent you know because i'm not a scientist i'm not going to pretend that i can do the job better than him that's not my job here it's that when you see other scientists criticizing him not just based on you know, wrong predictions they did based on the fact that the method to do the modeling from imperial college to all the others and independent stage all these people and now of course that the top of the health area in our own government they kept making the same mistakes and then we discovered, as we said earlier about Dr. Jenny Harris, they actually did it on purpose. They played with dodgy data. So whether he made a mistake or not, or did it on purpose, that's a different point. The problem we have is that interesting timing to ask for an apology when Chris Whitty has been announced that he's going to get a knighthood. <laughs> now, of course, Neil Ferguson is already Neil Ferguson. Professor Neil Ferguson, and you know, he's, he's got honours, right? I think he wants something. I think he wants something better, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he wants attention because Chris Whitty's, you know, the spotlight is going towards him, his shining head. But <laughs> why is it that he's come out now to talk about his mistakes? He says that I suppose I didn't anticipate becoming a public figure. Well, is, is that your excuse for getting caught with your girlfriend? Uh, that you didn't realize that people were following you around, the press, the media, and everybody else? Maybe that's, that's why you regret getting caught? Or you regret your fake modelings that didn't work the first time, second time, third time, and you can continue to do it after the first lockdown as well. You never decided to change your mind or change your method. The whole team, people who've been doing things like this in government. Nah, that's not the problem he has. He just regrets that he got caught, and he regrets that he's no longer getting the attention that he deserves. That's my opinion. I might be wrong. I don't know. Let me guys, let me know, everybody, in the comment section, what you guys think about this nonsensical news story that he's coming out to say that. Well, I apologize that I treated people like idiots and I oversimplified things because people are stupid. So I need to make things more complicated for them. Yeah. Sorry about that, Neil Ferguson. No sympathies from me and this channel. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Share this video on my TC. We are the media. Thank <laughs> you.